What's up and welcome back. Today we're going for a test drive on a 1954 model Chevy 3100 pickup truck. This one here has got the 350 under the hood. There's no power steering on this one. Does have the aluminum radiator and uh, should be a pretty good test drive. We'll take it down the road, see any flaws that I find, I'm gonna let you know. We do that with every vehicle on the lot. We also have 100 detailed pictures of this ride and everything over there. So be sure to check out maplemotors.com. Look at the finance options. We also have shipping options available for you. And if you hit subscribe, you can see daily content from Maple Motors. There's plenty of videos on here to check out. There's a playlist that says cars currently available. I want you to check that out. You can see stuff that we have as of today. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior of this truck. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Old school gauges. Definitely going to say that one there doesn't work. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. <laughs> got a temp gauge here below the dash. Got the gas gauge we'll be checking out to see if it works. You got a tack up here we'll be checking it too. Let's go ahead and turn her on. She starts up easy. I got my gear. Look below in the description. You want to see what I use? I put links to everything. Kind of check out the interior a little bit. All right, let's see if these wipers work. They are creeping. I'm gonna say the wiper's gonna need a little help. They're starting to work. Kind of looks like it's hung right there. Let's see if I can grab it. Yeah, wiper motor's weak on this one. Go ahead and cut it off. Horn? What's this? No, horn's not working. Tried two different ways. Not working. Gas gauge definitely moving around in there. That thing's going crazy. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. All right, getting ready to take off down the road. Anything that I see, uh, I'll let you know. This is pretty close to me. I don't, there's no room to scoot back. Little bit of a gap here. Definitely think it would be a smart idea for a shorter collar, but let's drive it and see how she goes. Check my brakes out. Feel pretty good. Even got the old knob here. You really gotta work it though. Use that knob. There's no power steering is what I mean. Oh, a little backfire there. Taking off down the road. Speedometer is not coming up on this one. Engine temperature is reading about 190, so it's working. Going straight as an arrow down the road. A little bit of slack, which is to be expected with no power steering. But... Of course, our kick down not hooked up on this one. How's the brakes? Brakes stop good. They're not pulling or anything, so good there. Motor's pulling well. As far as turn signal goes, not on the column. So as of right now, no turn signals. this visor to see the uh, see the light here or just wait for the guy beside you to take off she did a little bit of a hesitation there In this oversized mirror, see everything behind me. What we're gonna do now is pull in this. 
this parking lot right here and go ahead and get some undercarriage shots, some outside footage, and we'll continue the test drive. Let's go ahead and do it. get back what we're gonna do is uh walk around this ride point out chip scratches any flaws and we'll conclude this video So 
that's something that'll have to be added. It's probably when they changed out this steering column, they didn't get the right one. Or maybe I'm just missing them all together. There's no switch for them, that's for sure. All right, we're back at the lot now. We're gonna walk around, look for chips, scratches, flaws, rust, anything I can find. That way you know the rest about this vehicle. Let's do it, guys. Okay, back at the lot. We're gonna walk around this truck, point out any kind of chips, scratches, flaws we can find. Be sure to check out the detailed photos at maplemotors.com along with shipping and financing. We have that available for you. So we're gonna get started here on the lower portions. We'll end on the top. Get her started up, check the interior out, listen to the motor. Right around the front end here, see the front bumper's in pretty good condition. The grill's got some pitting on it, a little rust popping up here and there. Get a chip down here. Tires are in good shape, wheels look good, up and over the fender. There's a chip right there. Put on down. Got some chips right here in the jam. All over the steps, lots of chips on the steps. Bottoms of your door. Edge of it right there's got a thin spot in the paint. Back this way. A little chip down here, good back tires, nice wheels. Up and over. So far, so good. A lot of this paint on this truck is in good shape. There's a few chips there. Coming down this way. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Your seal on your gas cap. A little weak. Still looks good. Still looks like it's holding and doing its job. The pitting there on the door handle. Coming on down, you got a chip right here. A little bit there in the corner. Light scratches on your windshield there. chip right here on your bed rail anything i see i'm going to point out as i go um i know sometimes i don't zoom in on every inch of the truck but if i see chips and scratches i try to zoom in on all of them that way you know they're there plus those detailed pictures are going to go over all this same stuff this just goes over it in real time see the pitting on your bumper there Chip right here. So here. Looking down in your bed. Not too bad at all. Jump on out here. Same thing, lower portion. Chip right there. Down on your step here, it's lots of chips on it. I'm not gonna zoom in on every chip, there's a ton of them. Bottom of your door. I mean, pretty clean, really. It's got a nice paint job on this truck. Other than a few of these chips, it looks pretty good. Up here in the front, it's probably the worst spot. One, two, three, four, five chips. Up six, there's one right there. Also down on there, it's got a little chip. Coming back, mid section here. There's a few here. It's 
It's also one there. It's a pitting on your door handle. The bed rails look pretty good. A few cracks right there in your seal. Couple dings right there as well. On the side of your hood here, you've got a couple touch up marks. And we'll let it down here in just a moment. There's some spots there too on the edge. Let's go ahead and check that interior out real quick. Door panel looks like it's in pretty good shape. The seal around it looks like it's been replaced as well. A few scratches down there at the bottom. Come through your jam. Your seat, a little dirty, it's not all ripped up. The carpet in here looks pretty good. Reach in here and she starts up good. that when I was test driving it at some points I was two footing it I can't turn the idle up but it actually hasn't died on me it almost did there but... let's try to do this with one hand It might not even shut off. It just sounds like it. There we go. That's plenty enough to try it again. It did shut off. I think that's where it needs to be. That sounds much better. Well, we got a holly car sitting up there. Pretty easy to work on, too. Not too bad. That screw wasn't even touching, so. I literally let it touch and just one turn. Now she's got that sound. Good deal. electric fan in there and it's working not a very strong fan though but I haven't noticed any issues with it getting too hot we seen 200 well this will be a little bit difficult doing it this way but let's see if we can get her in there sometimes the bandit can do it and then sometimes we're just going to have to take that off <laughs> or have two hands. We'll leave it on there for now. I'll go ahead and fix it before I pull it into the lot. But I want to go ahead and take the hood down, look around the edge of it. There in the corner, you got some chips. Spots there. Right 
there in the front. Right there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like. I keep these videos coming your way. We post them all the time. Uh, I'll usually put out 10 to 12 videos a week. If you spread it out, you know, that's more than one a day. But I'll unleash on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays and bombard you with four to five videos. So be sure to check that out. Check out maplemotors.com for the detailed pictures, the finance options, and shipping options. And you can also see all of our inventory updated every Monday with new cars. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you watching. See you later. Thanks, Pops.